how are you all doing? I hope everyone is doing as well as you can be on this day, Monday, no, Tuesday, Tuesday. I've lost a day already. So I am doing pink parcel for you, but if you've seen the picture, you will see the pink parcel has changed its stripes. This is how pink parcel normally looks. This is how my pink parcel arrived this month. And it came in this very attractive bag. So I was a bit confused. I was like, what is going on? I had a little Google and I found this page. I'll just put an image up for you. And the Pink Parcel Times Cosmopolitan, it has better items in, at least on their advertising, the items look better than what I received in this box. And the box costs, was it $19.99 a month? Rather than this box costing $12.99 a month. So that would kind of make sense why you get better items. I haven't ordered one of those boxes because I wasn't really sure what's going on, but maybe I will do so we can kind of do a side by side comparison. But I was just like, I don't understand what's happening here. Why are we having this cosmopolitan thing? What's happening? Both websites seem to be active, the Norm Pink Parcel website and the Pink Parcel Times Cosmopolitan website. So I was confused. If you watch my Betty Box video, you will know that the company that runs Pink Parcel and Betty Box had some issues and kind of overstretched themselves and an investor pulled out and they weren't able to meet their commitments. So they've had to sort of bring themselves back to a smaller thing and kind of start again in a way. Now, I noticed on Sussex Sandra's Instagram that she was talking about these boxes because she obviously received the same box and was confused like I was. If you don't know who Sussex Sandra is, she is a lovely lady who does unboxings and she does quite a lot of foundation reviews because it's hard to find the right foundation for darker skin. And she also focuses on things that look good on a woman who is older than say 20. That's fair, I think, because she's not old at all. And she doesn't look old, she doesn't look her age. So you see, what's that they say? Black doesn't crack? I'm hoping for that in my life. The bit of black in me, I hope will keep me young forever. Anyway, she was talking about these boxes on her Instagram and apparently the company said that they were going to switch to this thing and they're just trying to use up these boxes and they will go back to the original packaging eventually. So that's what it's all about. But I'm not sure. I don't know. If, has anyone tried ordering the Cosmopolitan Times Pink Parcel one and paid the £20? I might give it a whirl next month. This month, budget is gone. So we won't do it now. Anyway, so I wanted to explain... That is why this box is like this. It doesn't appear to be a long time change. It just appears to be using up the old boxes. But I don't just have that one. I have this one and I actually have another one of these as well. So I'm gonna do the boxes all in order and see what stuff I've got lying around. I don't know how I keep finding boxes I haven't opened. What is wrong with me? Where are the boxes coming from? I don't know. So if you want to join me and start by finding out what is in February's box, then I'd love it if you could give me a thumbs up. Don't forget you can share this video. Ring that notification bell because I upload at funny times, you know. And subscribe to my channel. Every new subscriber is a welcome subscriber. Join the gang. Everyone's happy. All right, let's get into the video. So when I open my box, this is what I saw. Uh, it says, oh, hello, you. Yes, hi, it's me. I do really like these boxes actually, but I'm not sure how I feel about paying £20. The items would have to be really good. Interesting. Would you pay £20 for a period box? How good would the items have to be for you to do that? Question. So there's something in here that says Mrs Hyde, quality leather goods, the styles you want, the prices you love with this image and 10% off with this code, pads um, and more pads or whatever there's no leaflet again this month let's go into the bit we all care about and this is our goodies for february first up is this i love sopa duper products so i am quite happy to see this i've just used up my sopa duper um what was it was it lemon or was it vanilla i think it's vanilla shea butter one of these moisturizers so i'm very happy to have another one this is fruity green tuberose body lotion super smoothing with pineapple fruit acids and shea and nut butter derived from more than 98 percent natural ingredients no parabens colors mineral oil or sls or slses or any of the other usual suspects this is a full size tube which i'm very happy about they are proud to support water aid and clean the world and this tube has been made with a mix of new and recycled plastic, which is great. Manufactured in the UK. Always bonus. I haven't tried this one before. Oh, that's nice. It's 
just a normal cream, you know? The only thing that I don't like about these tubes, that's, that's a really interesting scent, but I like it. The only thing I don't like about these is that I find it quite hard to squeeze out when you get to the top of the tube, because this is like, it's like a giant toothpaste tube, basically, shape. But what I've discovered, if I undo this, I could just squeeze it out much more easily. Even with my good hand, it gets a bit tired. But that might be just for me, people with hand issues, that that's a problem. This is a good way to start. I do like this and I'm glad to have it. Because my normal moisturiser that I get from Tesco, my normal one that's a pound, is always out of stock, it seems, at the moment. It's doing my head in. I really need that moisturiser. So thankfully, Soper Duper have come in and saved the day. Next up, we have this. Yay. No, no yay. No yay. It's this nasty, horrible cinnamon toothpaste. Fortunately, my husband likes this toothpaste. He says it's really good. I hate cinnamon. Well, I could take a tiny bit in certain foods, but I wouldn't be putting it in my mouth. No big red chewing gum for me. So this is a toothpaste sample. It would have been nice to have a big one, to be honest, because when did we have this before? Was it in Pink Parcel? I knew I was right. It took me about 15 minutes searching through my posts on Instagram, but I found this and we got it in June from Pink Parcel. So yes, duplicate. I know you're still having issues, Pink Parcel, but please don't give us the same as something that we've already had in the last 12 months. It's not cool, especially when it's nasty cinnamon toothpaste. Right, let's move on. This you may recognise like I recognise it. I got this in, in my Eve Parcel, I think but mine was broken, they had to send me a replacement. And it's the same colour, it's Lido, Lido, this. So I'm gonna put this straight in my giveaway pile because I don't need three of these. It's kind of a dusky rose pink. I don't know where it is at the moment, or I'll do a swatch, but I don't wanna swatch this and damage it when I can give it away to someone else who will use it. Um, yeah, it's quite nice. This is the most expensive item in the box, so that's kind of good. It's not their fault that I've had this twice over. Then we got this. He's too small. Dot's lip. Dot's lip is actually quite expensive for the size that it is. This is a 100% natural award-winning multi-purpose balm, a gloriously rich treatment for beautiful, soft, luscious lips and any very dry bits. Famous for its long-lasting gloss and instant moisturising effect. Fragrance-free, additive-free and so very kissable. One product, 100 uses. How do you use yours? I do like it and I do think it's great for putting on your lips overnight and then you find that your lips should be nice and moisturised in the morning. I just wish it was a little bit bigger because the normal one that I use at the moment is like twice this size. This is 4ml, 10ml is better. But even this is like £5. Yeah, you can buy it this size and it's £5. Crazy, isn't it? You can use it in all different kinds of ways. It's just a clear balm and it's nice. It is kind of sticky though so if you don't like a sticky tacky feeling to your lips after you put a balm on you won't like this but if you don't mind that then you will it's fine so yeah that's okay it's okay but I wish it was bigger then we have our tea bag which is from pure chimp and it's a turmeric tea bag it suggests to mix it with hot or cold milk and for best results mix using a bamboo or electric whisk hmm. who has a bamboo whisk or do they mean like a bamboo stick or an electric whisk? But I think that means bamboo whisk. Do you got a bamboo whisk? I don't know. Contains caffeine, 70% ceremonial grade matcha, 25% turmeric, 2.5% cinnamon, 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 <laughs> and 2.5% ginger. Specially grown green tea leaves ground into fine powder with turmeric, cinnamon, and ginger. For vegan, 100% natural, and it's got two servings in here, so you can get two drinks out of it. I don't know if I like this stuff or not, but turmeric is supposed to be very good for inflammation, so I need to have more of it in my life. I have had turmeric tablets in the past. Didn't notice really much difference, but I probably didn't try it for long enough. Anyway, so that's okay. These are chocolates from Chocolate and Love. We've had these ones before in, I think, October. I'm not sure if it's the same ones, but definitely the same brand. So we've got this one, which is Rich Dark. And then we've got this one, which is Madagascar. I think they're both dark chocolate. Single origin dark chocolate, 76% cocoa. Fair trade. And this is dark chocolate, 71% cocoa. I don't like dark chocolate, but my husband does, so he will eat them, so that's okay. Last, we have this, which is the Diamond Gold Mask from Vita Mask. Haven't had this one before, so I'm happy to have that. Just looks like this. Made with real gold and diamond, brightening. 
a luxurious moisturising Korean face mask made with gold, diamond and pearl powder to brighten your skin. Inspired by Korean innovation, an ultra thin fibre sheet designed to fit seamlessly on the face and enhance the moisture content within the mask, leading to an increased absorption rate within the skin. You know I love a mask. I love trying new masks and thank goodness there are boxes to send me masks after mask after mask. And that is Pink Parcel done. Feels like there's something missing, but there isn't. I'm just checking my list there isn't. So the total for this month's Pink Parcel is £35.81. I feel like they normally aim to have £40 value for their items, but maybe they price some things differently to me. It's close enough, but it is feeling a bit weird that we have no information and I like half the stuff. I like this and I like the mask. I can use the cinnamon toothpaste and I can use the chocolate, I guess. Actually, reviewing it, I can use everything and I just wish that dot's lip was a bit bigger, but actually these things are all nice enough things and I am gonna use them. And it's good to get some more different things that I haven't tried before, like I haven't tried this before, I haven't tried the mask before. Other people won't have tried the lipstick before because it's not been in a lot of boxes. I think it's okay, I'm just looking forward to when they get back on top and um, we get our pamphlet and all that stuff. It's going to be, it'll feel more like a complete parcel then, I think, to me. So, if you just want to see February's pink parcel, then you're done. Thank you very much for joining me. You can head off. If you want to see what I've got in these other boxes, stay. Hang out for a bit longer. This one. In my Betty box, it talked about there being an envelope that you can send your excess pads and tampons to. And there wasn't one, but there is one in this bag. That address, and then you can send things you haven't used to them. I've realised now why I didn't do this one, because this is from August. And in August, I was suddenly moving house unexpectedly, and I took like a month and a half off YouTube, so I wasn't doing unboxings. That is why it's here. But it looks like it has some nice things. Ooh, ooh, exciting. Candy kittens, my favourite. My husband is not going to see these. Love these. In fact, we just saw them in our, well, I say local, kind of kind of our local shop, because where we live, there's not many shops. It's actually at a petrol station. And they were priced at £2.89 for a bag this size. Isn't that crazy? I love these candy kittens. They're delicious. They're vegetarian. They're gluten-free. Made with fruit juice, but they are always on the expensive side. But they are good. Right interesting now I see this because this is Seba Med clear face mattifying cream and didn't I just get this in my pink parcel not in my pink parcel in my Betty box more double usings but for impure acne prone skin skin care complex for oily skin mattifies the skin by regulating sebum production care formula of the horse chestnut soothes the skin I do actually need things like this because my skin gets oily. More of this in my life isn't a bad thing because it's only a 10 mil size. Is it cheeky because, you know, it's a different audience? No, it's not cheeky. It's a different audience, isn't it? It's not like this was in Pink Parcel and then Pink Parcel again. So that's actually fine. I'm just making noise for no reason. Okay, what else have we got? Uh-oh. English Laundry. Having just opened that nasty, horrible scent from English Laundry, is this one going to be better? It is beautiful packaging. It's a rectangular box. It says English Laundry number seven. It's got silver and peach flowers on it and embossed texture, which is really nice. I'm so nervous. And then inside is a cylinder, glass cylinder with a silver cap on a spray bottle with the same sort of gray silver writing on it. Doesn't smell of wee. Yes, well done. It smells quite nice. That's that is a nice light floral summer scent. Happy to have this. I like the scent. I like the bottle. I like the packaging. I think it's really nice. And it doesn't smell of wee, so that's the best part. It is the same number of things as the current pink parcel. It just feels like more for some reason. I don't know why. I'm just being weird, I think. So something else from Oriza. I don't know if that's how you said it. Oriza. Anyone know how to pronounce this? I don't. This is Dewy Glow Balm for skin, lips and nails with vitamin E and rice bran oil, fragrance free. So is this another Dr. Lip style product? And what's that other one? You know the one in the yellow packet. I can't think of it. 
Dewy Glow Balm by Oriza has been perfectly formulated to repair and protect sensitive skin. Developed as an all-purpose skin and lip balm with UVA and UVB filters for sun protection, it is moisturising, protective, anti-inflammatory and soothing for all skin types. Formulated with key functional botanicals, Oriza Sativa Rice, Bran Oil, Jehovah Oil, Shea Butter, Vitamin E, Sunflower and Safflower Seed Oil Extract. Perfect for general use and adding a dewy glow to your makeup. This has got a foil in it, so I'm not going to open it now. I will save it until summer because this is when it's designed to be used, but I'm guessing it's very similar to the other balms. Didn't know they did something like this, so that's cool. Haven't got one. Something new for my kit. I like it. Next, we have something that I always love to see, space masks. I love these space masks. They're so relaxing and comfortable. They're a mask and it's got like iron filings, I think it is. Is that what they put in it? The oxygen molecules cuddle up to the mask's iron particles in a natural heat exchange. It's got essence of jasmine iron powders, so it has little straps that go over your ears, and then you've got eye bits, and it's so soothing and relaxing. The only problem is that sometimes I fall asleep before I've enjoyed all the heat out of it, if that's a problem. Sometimes I put an extra eye mask on top of this so I can really press it into my eyeballs. I'm not saying you should definitely do that, but I do, and my eyes are okay. So, yeah, I really like these space mask. I also like it because the lady that makes them, she's really interesting and quirky. She makes me laugh on her Instagram. If you want to, if you want to have a cheering up moment, follow her on Instagram because she just, she's just funny. She just makes me laugh. This is interesting. I've not had this before. I love new things. Leon's, Leon's, Lion's, Lion's, Leon's, 100% ground coffee in a bag, number three, rich and full body. We don't get coffee, usually, so this is exciting. Unwrap and place the coffee bag in your cup. Oh yeah, my husband's had some of these before, but not this brand. Enjoy wherever you are, brew in the cup, convenient, no mess. He will be very happy that I've got him not only chocolate, but a coffee too. Who's the best wife in the world? I am. Last item is from Larixi Cosmetics, who I know are cruelty free and vegan. Dew pot illuminator on pot. Okay, cruelty free, paraben free. I know they are because they come in my pit box and they are cruelty free and vegan, so you can be safe. Halo dew pot illuminator. So it's a round circular tub, glass at the bottom, silver cap with Larixi Cosmetics on it. And open it up inside, it's got sort of a cream looking like gold substance. So I'm guessing this is highlighter. Apply this multi-purpose product to cheeks, lips and lids for a luminous glow. Build it up to create a metallic festival looks or use sparingly for a subtle glow. It's six shades. Ooh, I'm going to have to dip my finger in this. So it kind of looks like, oh, look how gold it looks there. Oh, that's nice. I like that you can build it up as well because that's a nice sheen and then you could go more hardcore. Can you see the shine? I can see it. I don't know if it's as obvious to you because I always I always get naturally shine there anyway, even when I've got no product on. You can see it in the mirror more. It's nice. Yeah, you can definitely see that. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. I'll add that to my makeup bag. So that was August. I'm just going to do a little add up. That was a pretty good month for Pink Parcel. It's £49, 23 pence worth of product and I don't think there's anything I don't like. Everything is either new and interesting or old and an old favourite. It's only the space mask that I'd had before. Well, and a candy kit, since that doesn't count because I love them. Everything else was brand new to me, which is brilliant. Well done, Pink Parcel. This is when they were good, clearly. Right, shall I open the last one? What did we get? Well, more candy kittens. Can't go wrong. We have had these before a couple of times in Pink Parcel. This one and the other ones as well. But this time they'll be forgiven because I love candy kittens, can't get enough of them. Give them to me every single month. But can you give me the big size bag, please? Thanks. Right, so this is our other stuff. And I can already see a couple of things I'm not so excited about. Let's pull this out. Anyone seen this recently? Oh yes, in my Betty box. Hmm, but again, Betty Box and Pink Parcel are not the same, so it's actually okay. And it's a face mask. So what am I bitching about? Chill my boots, shall I? Shall I chill my boots? 
Cherry Gel Lip Mask, Hydrate and Moisturise. I haven't tried one yet, but this is made in Korea, especially for you. Liven up your beauty regime with this okay lip mask. And it's gonna make your lips happy. So that's, that's okay. I love a mask, you know I love a mask. I'm just moaning. Next up, we have a sachet from Anatomicals. I do like anatomical products and I like their catchphrases because we only want you for your body. That's what they say. And they also have little stories on the back. This is That's When I Fell for the Leader of the Hair Pack, Deep Conditioning Hair Pack. Never had this before. New product to me, so I'm happy about that. The sachet is about as tall as my hand and it is a nice green colour. On the back it says, obviously when you're on the back of a motorbike being driven by some handsome hunk, your hair shouldn't really be blowing the wind, legally. It should be actually covered by a helmet. Hmm, helmet hair? Jeez, what sort of beauty shot would that make? And it's got a little picture of a man and a lady riding on the back of a motorbike. Wind going through her beautiful hair that's been made so beautiful by this hair mask, I guess is what they're saying. For greater effect, wrap your hair in a heated towel once you put this in and leave for a few minutes and then rinse. Your hover seed oil, which has been used for centuries to condition, helps replenish the moisture in your hair, leaving it frizz-free and beautifully sleek. Ooh, the words frizz-free, they always get me. So hopefully this will be nice. This I have had before. This would be my third one of these. Not from this box, from various boxes. From Manakadar, it's their Glow Illuminator. An iridescent liquid that lights up the skin with all over radiance, mixed with foundation or wear alone, great for all skin types. This is vegan and cruelty free. It's okay. I wouldn't say it's my favorite for me, but maybe other people like it better. Let's look at the tea bag. Ooh, this would be good for Christmas. Chocolate, turmeric, ginger, and almond. Delicious, rich, mild sweetness. So this is a single tea bag sachet from Dilma for lovers of tea. Never heard of this brand before. Red rooibos with turmeric root, ginger root, natural flavourings and black peppercorns. Packed in Sri Lanka from local and imported ingredients. Hmm, looks like an interesting one to try. Did anyone try this one from their pink parcel at Christmas? Let me know what you thought. Okay, at the bottom there is a card. Your friend thought you'd like to try pink parcel. We're giving you your first box free with this code PP gift. Okay, cool. And the beauty of giving, enjoy your full size Lord and Berry 20100 Maxi Macro and Lipstick in shade here and now, exclusive to Pink Parcel. Free Pink Parcel with this code. Did everyone get this? I see this is for me to give to someone else. I was so confused then. My poor little brain. So this is a Lord and Berry crayon. Lipstick crayon. So not a lip pencil, but a lipstick crayon. So it's, this can't be full size, is it? It says it's full size. It's full size, it's about the length of my palm. It's a black crayon with Lord and Berry written on it in white and a clear cap showing a red pencil. It looks like a kid's like oversized pencil crayon. Sunset Red was a big hit on the autumn winter 18 catwalks and easy to wear shade looks gorgeous in all skin tones and it's 15 pounds. I love a red. Oh, that does look like it's very creamy and easy to apply. And it actually looks like it would go with this top I'm wearing really well because it's kind of a orangey bright red. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, happy to have that. Looks easy to use and it's a lovely red. Like it. Something else that's new. I like new things. Oh, I've got two. Oh, okay. So I, <laughs> I am so slow. <laughs> I opened this box which says the beauty of giving pink parcel and it's, but this is like for me to give to someone with one of these pencils in in the box and the code so they get a free pink parcel and to start them off oh look here's this Lord and Berry pencil but me I just opened it and started using it didn't I so I've actually got two <laughs> but one I could put in the box and give to someone I think that's so silly of me or I could just use it because it's very nice um, yeah, that's cool. That was nice of Pink Parcel to do that because 15 pounds to give away for everyone is quite a lot. This we've had a few times in a few different boxes. It's a repeat offender. This is from Balance Me and it's Flash Cleanse Micellar Water. 99% natural. It's got quite a strong scent. Some people like it, some people don't. It's free from parabens, DEA, mineral oils, sulfates, PEGs, petroleum, silicones, propylene, glycol, microbes, 
artificial fragrances and colours. It's a chamomile infused cleaning water with natural peptides to boost hydration and radiance with a sweep of a cotton pad. It's non-drying, no rinse formula. It's designed to refresh and soothe skin with ease. This is not a full size, but it's a reasonable sample. Here's when pink parcel has gone wrong for me. So the three items on this side, I've got the mask, the glow illuminator, and the Lord and Berry, so fine. But on the back, it says I should have a full size seed and bean organic fine dark chocolate, sweet orange and thyme chocolate bar. I don't have that. The tea bag I have, the anatomicals I have, and the other thing was a buttermilk gingerbread crumbly fudge. I don't got no fudge. I would have liked a fudge. I know obviously I've got candy kittens which kind of replace the chocolate but where's my fudge? I think I'm going to send Pink Parcel an email because I didn't get my fudge. Okay I've got two of these lip crayons but if that's meant to be given away as a gift that's not for me is it? And that's it. I'm just having a look around just in case I miss my fudge but I'm sure I didn't see it in here. No no fudge for me. <sighs> okay I'll survive. So that is three lots of pink parcel and if you're new to pink parcel that should give you a really good idea of what your 12 dollars a month should get you. I'll just pop up my code because I forgot to do that earlier if anyone wants to use it then I will be more than delighted for you to use me as a referral and if not just find another referral because paying full price is not the way we roll here. If we can help it of course some of the time you do have to pay full price. <laughs> yeah so would I have been pleased at Christmas? Yes, I would have been very pleased at Christmas. I would have liked all my items, apart from missing my fudge. And I'm actually glad that I got the candy kittens instead of the chocolate bar. So yeah, I would have been pleased. And I really like the fact that they gave me another one to give to someone. I think that's really cool. I'm impressed with that. Did I like the August one? Yes, I really did like the August one. But February's one, meh. Seems to be following a pattern, all the boxes this month. They seem to be a bit, they're okay, they're nice, but they're not really, you know, giving it some welly, as they say, <laughs> in reference to beauty boxes all the time. So yeah, thank you for sticking by me if you are here at the end of this video. I know it's a bit longer than normal, but I had all these things to unbox and where else to do it than right here with you guys. So cheers for that. And I will see you very soon with another video. I hope until then that you take care of yourselves Find something positive every day. Bye, guys.